this rock and roller? Actually, that's philosophy student Michael Ortiz. Johnny, he's been studying for 15 years. Impressive. I bet he knows a lot. I know nothing! Huh. Well, then may I suggest you move to Hollywood and become an actor. Jill, tell us what else this deep thinker is thinking philosophically what's it all about when it comes down to it you know mm. and what are we here for like what are you here for fifty thousand dollars that's what i'm here for today. really absolutely oh he's one of those philosophers who's just in it for the money well and to uh be one with nature oh well philosophically can i have your guitar no okay ah uh, jill always a sucker for a man with an instrument even if it is purple Okay, Philosopher Mike, let's get metaphysical. Oh, 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 oh. He wipes out, therefore I laugh. Plato said courage is knowing what not to fear, and stupidity is not fearing the big balls. But the absurdity of man is not that he wipes out, John, it's that he thinks the next obstacle will end differently. Nietzsche? Henson. Oh, reality bites. Michael said he knew nothing, and wiser words have never been spoken. Next to start, it's our oldest competitor. Oh, and she'll do anything to get back in. Aristotle said men are swayed by fear, but philosophers swayed by sweeper art. And maybe a little fear for good measure. Oh, the fear of flying. The dean, he is graduating with us. So two spots remain. The philosopher taking a rational approach. But the sweepers poke holes in his logic. Trying to become one with the platform, and he does it. The philosopher will continue to enlighten us into the next round. All right, guys. Who will it be? Those athletic specimens down there, Johnny. No doubt fully prepared for the task at hand. Kind of thought it was just going to be the bar, but now I'm realizing it's going to be a little bit more than that. You betcha, Dean. And you better not let your students catch you in a bar. What is Rain Man up to? Well, the sun is out now, so it looks like he's doing a rain dance to summon back the storm clouds. Give himself a leg up again. Come on, baby! <laughs> Round one has begun. And the dive bar is open for Move. business. And you Move. see the giant snorkel moving, right? Whale trainer, oh, nearly falls in flipper first. Yeah, Johnny, this event takes great balance, which is not something you normally see in a dive bar. And the snorkel sweeper arm, though, victimless after one revolution. Brain man at the bar, but he abstains and stays dry. So does Preppy. Big Mouth Bishop, oh, she eats it first to fall. And it looks like a giant snorkel is about the only thing that can't fit in that ginormous cake hole of hers. One down, five to go. I want you to fall. Whale trainer. Oh, ducks under the bar. Yeah, you can't do that. She's done. Go swim laps with your whales. Which means we are down to just a quartet of men. You know what they say about men and giant snorkels? I don't. Me neither. Oh, it is raining cats and rain men. Take a look at the Wipeout Doppler 4000 HD, and you can see that a sweeper front is moving in and pushing rain man out to sea. Down to our final three. Last man standing is going to get a trip to the Wipeout Zone. Philosopher jumps, therefore he's still in it. Dude, you're not even touching it. The dean of students almost gets expelled. The preppy, oh, he gets clipped and drowns his sorrows. Two-man game now, Johnny. The philosopher reasons with the snorkel. The dean of students, oh, kneecapped by our snorkel. So dean is out, and the philosopher wins round one. Snorkel, you are my friend. Well, one man's snorkel is another man's friend, especially if he's lonely. Either way, the philosopher is heading to the wipeout zone. And the other five are going back up for round two. Michael, tell me, what's the secret? Uh, jump really high. <laughs> I knew philosophy students got high. Five contestants remaining, two spots. The Rain Man, Wiley Smith, and Dean of Students, Greg Wachinski. Nobody backing down. Let's go again. Rain Man up. Oh, no! Rain Man, not as cumulonimble as he hoped. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone, unless you're the Dean of Students, because he is moving on to the wipeout zone. We got three guys going to the wipeout zone. Congratulations, fellas. You know, with that snorkel out there, we should have called this dive bar as in scuba dive. Came up with that on your own. Well, going forward, our three finalists are the philosopher, Michael Ortiz, the dean of students, Greg Wachinski, and the preppy, Chris Pierce. So do not go anywhere, America. When we come back, our three fearless competitors take on the wipeout zone. to the wipeout zone our day started with 24 contestants in the hunt for fifty thousand dollars but now only three remain with one giant obstacle still in there excuse me john am i interrupting you see the red light is on correct not now anderson i'm about ready to tackle the wipeout zone that's my point precisely the wipeout zone is upon us yeah i know and if i'm gonna stand any chance of the wipeout zone i need to warm up 
I'm totally lost now. Oh, I'm getting into the zone before I play Activision's new game, Wipeout in the Zone. Oh, I see. In your movements, they control the character in the game. You betcha. And this obstacle is going down. I just gotta sneak by the... Ah! Oh! Curse you, Wipeout Gods! This isn't over! Ah! After I rehab my old Highlight injury, I'm taking you down, video game! Now, where were we? Waiting on you. And the three contestants remaining, but they still have that one big obstacle standing in their way, the Wipeout Zone. It's made up of several challenging stages, Johnny. First, it's chairboard. The contestants grab a seat and get a one-way ticket into the water. Then it's on to the second obstacle, the over and out. The timing has to be perfect here as they cross these two giant rotating walkways. Next, they're on to point break. It's a two-parter. One's up, one down. First, they climb to the peak of the slippery staircase. Then they must precisely time a steep slide onto the platform. And then our final obstacle, the coin toss. A balancing act where spinning coins try to flip our contestants. Whether they land on their heads or their tails, we win. And one of these final three contestants is going to walk home with $50,000. The philosopher Mike Ortiz, the dean of students Greg Wachinski, and the preppy Chris Pierce. First up in the zone tonight, Michael Ortiz. Let's take a look at his journey today. Yeah, baby! The philosopher Michael Ortiz willed himself freely through both the qualifier and the scare cell before realizing it is better to be than not to be at the dive bar, claiming first place and putting a lock on our first spot in the wipeout zone. Sitting comfortably in the chairboard, but that's about to change. Strikes the thinking man pose as he hits launch speed. Loving the showmanship here. The philosopher soaring through that water blast and into the wipeout zone. Michael hustling up to over and out, and this is a thinking man's obstacle. How do you unlock the riddle of these dual spinning walkways? Speed, perhaps? Guile in a good grip, maybe. Gotta hang on. Gotta hang on. Hanging on is a good place to start. Bracing himself now, plotting his next move. Ortiz trying to stay topside on that plank. Coming back around, but still looks unsteady, Johnny. Oh! oh! Big slip and slide into the water. Yeah, uh, philosophically, that was the right approach, yeah. but realistically, eh, not so much. So, Philosopher really studying over and out. He's a thinker, John. That's what he does for no living. Now becoming a doer, positioning. Got to brace himself here. Locking in for that rotation. Looking good. He leaps. Oh! He disappears behind the water blast, but you see him there taking a plunge. The rotation was perfect, but he lost his footing and paid the price. Deep breaths and no doubt deep thoughts for the philosopher as he's back at the start for the third time. He takes off now. Yes, makes it to the center platform. He is halfway there. Unlocking the mystery of over and out. Now he just needs to execute again and smartly done. Now to learn the secrets of point break. Johnny, you know the drill here. Steep stairs up two stories, even steeper slide back down. Land on the platform and you are moving on. Oh, look out. 500 gallons of water showering down on our philosopher. That is over 4,000 pounds of liquid, making it a challenge just to hold on. Survives that, though, just a little soggy. Up to the summit of point break. His time approaching five minutes. Michael in position. Down he goes. No! No shot. He may be overthinking it, Johnny. The philosopher looks like he second-guessed his slide and came up way short. Too early, man. Too early. Our philosopher clearly has identified the problem, but can he fix it? Oh, second icy water dump, but the philosopher holds strong and continues his climb. One soaking's refreshing. Two is miserable, Johnny. Eight minutes in as Michael readies himself to slide again. Here he goes down the ramp. Right on. Oh, it. Well, not the prettiest, but it still counts. The coin toss straight ahead. And that's the final obstacle, Johnny. Seven slippery spinning steps leading to the finish platform. You can see the wheels turning, counting out his steps. Come on. Time to put that game plan into action. Oh! No, he's not in the water yet, Johnny. Unbelievable. He's trying to crawl his way across the finish. Wrestles his way to the finish platform. Yes. The philosopher giving the other finalists something to think about with a time to beat of 8.35. It's a blazing finish. Up next, the dean of students, Greg Wachinski. Let's take a look at how he got to the wipeout zone. Dean of students, Greg Wachinski, got the tables turned on him today when the qualifier taught him a lesson. He refused to flunk out on the scarousel and finished last in his class. Class at the dive bar, moving one step closer to fifty thousand right, dollars. Take your desk seats. It's chairborne time. Our philosopher looking on his magic number eight thirty-five. Sit up straight. Good posture. Hit the gas. Greg's moving. 
Oh, and the Dean striking an authoritative pose as he flies off the ramp. His students have got to be loving that launch, mostly the part where he fell into the water. Greg making his way up to over and out where he is going to meet our two spinning walkways. Vaults on and quickly braces himself. Oh, look at him. He's going to do the handstand. Not the easiest course, Johnny. This is what you might call advanced placement. No, he's not. He's doing the handstand. Why didn't you do the handstand? Tough angle. Oh, oh he loses oh, it. That's why. Yeah, the Dean just didn't have the discipline to matriculate, Johnny. And the Dean forced to retake over and out. Two tries, two minutes and change. And the Dean elects to go back to the strategy that failed him the first time. Oh, crap. Ah, no, no. The Dean has given it his all, but I have to wonder what kind of grade he would give himself at this point. Frustration okay. showing. How about do over and over and over and out? Well, he might want to try a different strategy because at this point he is failing. You can see that grimace there. Greg out of his crouch, makes it, and now a second walkway awaits. Oh, one more time. The Dean is no dropout, John. He is off and running. Jumps and makes it. I am getting exhausted just watching it. Picked up some time there in the second half, but still a bit behind the pace set by the philosopher and leader. Point break off and make or break here in the zone. Oh, empty the rain barrel. Greg up the stairs and through a downpour. In position now to make up some ground. Flip the clock for Aaron, buddy. Greg at the top, preparing for the steep slide down. Success and failure here decided by tenths of a second. Oh, that alignment looks oh. off. Oh! Blow. The Dean dropped out too Whoa. early, and he gets punished for it. Oh, man. That was bad time. The Dean and his time both taking a beating. Oh, a dizzying look at that water dump. Having to retrace his steps, begin again. Drops further back of our leader. He needs to move. If Dean misses here, he is as good as done. Oh, and again, he shoves off too soon. Almost sneaks in there, but he sailed wide. That's where his time will run out, and his run will end. My time sucks. Freaking hell off. Let the ridicule from his students commence, Johnny. The dean of students, Greg Wachensky, is eliminated. Oh, I'm sorry, kids. The philosopher, Michael Ortiz, still our leader. Preppy Chris Pierce, still to go. His run for the money comes up right after this. tonight's champ only one man and one run stand between philosopher michael ortiz and the fifty thousand dollars that's right and that final run belongs to none other than preppy chris pierce let's see how he made it to the wipeout zone preppy chris pierce breezed through the qualifier this morning like a quick nine at the country club then he properly secured second place finishes at both the scarousel and the dive bar entitling him to a spot in the wipeout zone all that wipeout zone and only 8.35 to cover it. Chris Pierce prepped and ready for Cherborn. The leader, Michael Ortiz, got a front row seat. Lights, the beef smoking preppy takes off. Dignified looking as he accelerates to 35 miles an hour and gets propelled into the zone. All right. Wow, I'm not sure what's in the drinking water tonight, but that is the third pose we've seen. If there's a side bet, I'm giving it to the preppy. Time for Preppy to distinguish himself now on over and out. Pair of rotating walkways. Double trouble, really. Puts his best foot forward on it. Oh, he loses his footing and slides right into the water. Yeah, Chris had no chance on that attempt. Unfortunately, Preppy not a legacy at the over and out. He needs to acclimate himself to the rigors of the zone, Johnny. Now Preppy holding on, getting cozy with that dash, but no position is safe very long because of that rotation moment of confusion they're plotting that next move he turns around chris ends up in great position and jumps off yeah big water blast but he is already halfway through i got this avoiding a first half fall helping chris build an early lead over the philosopher yeah. crucial moment here johnny turning around as he hangs cool. on tight making cool. a move and he is yep. through over and out in his rear view. Preppy's time not even two minutes yet. He is cruising. He needs to avoid coasting, however. Plenty of course still in front of him. Got to be careful. And Preppy not happy with that one bit. Yeah, he hasn't had water thrown in his face since he got fresh at the cotillion. Now at the peak of point break, crawling over for that steep slide down. Philosopher Michael Ortiz looking contemplative as always. Chris waiting for the correct moment. Off he goes. Center of the slide. No! And upended by...
by the edge of that platform, a bruising wipeout. The philosopher loving life, but Preppy's timing just a little bit off, and he pays a huge price by coming up short, and I bet that was as painful as it looked. Mm, second attempt. Right about now, your arms are just burning from that swim back. And there's no time to rest if he wants to claim that $50,000. Chris has to press on and keep up the pace. No waterfall this time, huh? No waterfall this time? No, the downpour punishing the preppy, but he has climbed back to the top like it is his birthright. You have a great aim with that water. Why, thank you. We only hire the finest in H2O expertise. Down he goes. Chris with yeah. great aim, too. Spot on. Preppy Pierce, one obstacle to go and more than four minutes to work with. Yeah, John, but nothing is guaranteed here. Remember, Philosopher nailed the coins his first time, but it takes most competitors a few shots. A false start for Chris. Regrouping, now he goes. Looking good, looking fast. Johnny looks like a winner. Wow, what and done. He is money on coin toss. Chris, you want white mount and you want 50 grand. Congratulations. Did you see? Yeah. Up the champagne, Johnny, let's raise a glass. 50K in the bank, Johnny. Preppy Chris Pierce is our champion. Well, that about wraps it up for us. Make sure to join us next time as 24 new contestants battle it out for $50,000. Until then, I'm John Anderson. And for our colleague Joe Wagner, I'm John Henson saying good night and big ball. <laughs>